we have two models for the female reproductive system and this one is one that we call the menstrual cycle just trying to give you an overall view so that you can see what this is um, we have an ovary enlarged over here and another one here this one has uh, certain structures on it and this one has most of the same structures. I mainly focus on this one on the left. And then we've got f four different female reproductive organs um, and I'm just going to focus on this one because they all kind of show the same thing. So this is an anterior view as opposed to the other model. I have a different recording for that is a sagittal view of the female pelvis and this is the uterus then ovaries this ovary is cut open and this ovary is not now with this one cut open these same structures you have to like zoom way in are found in this big ovary so I'm going to focus on this ovary for those structures but the uterus clearly has three layers. The outermost layer here is just, you know, a serous membrane, and we usually use this number just to mean like the whole uterus. And then the inside layer, see there is a, um, an arrow there, is the endometrium. And then the middle muscular layer here is um, usually represented by number 23 there, but it's in the middle. And this is the cervix. The cervix projects down into the vagina, so the vagina is tiny. Like, there's hardly any of it here. They cut it off. Here is the uterine tube that goes out to the ovary. These are the fimbriae, which is the end of the uterine tube. They're like finger-like projections. And over here, it's been cut open. So you could see how the uterine tube is connected to the space inside of the uterus and you can see the fimbriae maybe a little bit more clearly. Um, so that's it for this model up there. And then this one down here shows um, follicles in different stages of development. Now over here we've got like the first half of the cycle and then over here we have the second half of the cycle. In the middle we have the whole cycle. The letters in the middle of the model, A, B, C, right, match the letters over here. So you could see these events in the ovary over here and over here. But I'm going to use this to go over the events just because it is like bigger, <laughs> easier. If you look real closely at this model, there are numbers and those numbers indicate days of the month, an average menstrual cycle is 28 days and in the beginning of the month you will see immature follicles capital a and b2 to be honest are immature follicles and then one follicle per month usually starts to enlarge and become mature so c would be a, a mature follicle d is an oocyte that has been ovulated so e is representing e, d and e together are representing ovulation and here we have the corpus luteum, which is from the follicle um, after ovulation, it becomes a corpus luteum. And then if there's no pregnancy, it shrinks, which is what this is.